Before we go to Standing Rock, I want to thank Waggle for not only sponsoring this video, but for making my RV travel life with a dog so much easier. So Waggle has sponsored this video and I want to tell you that this is the best thing for any RVer who travels with a pet. It's a real-time pet temperature monitor. So you leave this in your car, you download your app, and you're able to see in real time what the temperature, humidity, and heat index is inside your vehicle while you're doing your shopping and running your errands. So it's real time. You get email or text alerts about what's going on inside your RV. So you just, it takes away the worry about, uh, you know, traveling with a pet like I do. So it's really been a lifesaver for me. It makes me do things like go see Standing Rock and other places. It makes it a lot easier knowing that I don't have to worry so much about Sadie because I know exactly what's going on in my RV. So you can charge this, it's rechargeable. The battery lasts up to four days, so that's really good. You can plug it into your RV and it'll also tell you if your power goes out and also if your power goes on. This little device right here, this, because it needs to communicate to your phone, runs on the most reliable, internet there is which is verizon you do not have to have verizon this runs on verizon so that it can communicate with your phone whatever service you have on your phone through an app so a lot of people get really confused about that so this comes with its own signal so uh, it's really reliable so you always know that your pet is safe and that it's not gonna you know there's not gonna be any issues with it it also comes with tracking, so if you want to leave it in your uh, RV, you, you worry that your RV is going to get stolen, you can also get the tracking option as well. So it's a really, really nice little device. Waggle has been offering my audience 40% off, but they've upped the ante. They want to offer you, this is an exclusive offer for my viewers only, using the link below and the discount code SADIE50, you now get 50% off through August 31st. So if you travel with a pet, whether you live full time in an RV or not, and you just wanna know that your pet is safe, I highly recommend checking this out. It's just been such a peace of mind having this. And now, like I said, an exclusive offer that Waggle has offered to you guys, my viewers only, using discount code SADIE50 through August 31st, you guys get 50% off. It's a great deal. I gotta tell you, keeping your pet safe. We all love our pets and having that peace of mind. Let's go to Standing Rock. There you go. Well, that was a fun, that was a fun lunch spot. Now it's Standing Rock or bust, right? There you go. Standing rock or bust, right? Unless we see anything interesting between here and there. We think. Let's go. I thought as long as I was here, I'd visit the reservation. Standing Rock is the fifth largest reservation existing in the United States with about 2.3 million acres. And it made international news a few years ago with the protests about the pipeline, which we'll get into in a minute. seen a lot of different names for the Native Americans who lived here and some still live here in my travels including Lakota, Dakota, Nakota, and Mandan and actually the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota are subcultures of the Sioux tribe and interesting the Sioux didn't call themselves Sioux so where did that name come from? Here's an irony for you I'm in Standing Rock Driving through Standing Rock, lots of American flags flying. Native Americans wave American flags. Southern whites hang Confederate flags. That's interesting. 
There's a couple different versions of the story about where the name Sioux came from, but basically they both say that it was a nickname given to the tribe by their enemies. And it was a spiteful name meaning enemy or snake, and it was a longer word, a longer native word. But when the fur traders came along, they shortened it to Sioux, and they have been referred to as Sioux ever since. So imagine being referred to by a nickname given by your enemy. They call themselves Lakota or Dakota, not Sioux. The Great Sioux Reservation was initially set aside west of the Missouri River in South Dakota and Nebraska for use of the Lakota Sioux, who dominated the territory. It was established by Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868 and comprised more than 60 million acres. And today, Standing Rock Sioux Reservation is down to just 2.3 million acres. After over and over and over again, the government changed their minds and decided they want they wanted to take back the land. Part of it was gold rush in the Black Hills and whatever else came along they decided they wanted. I want to touch it. I don't know if I can. They put it high enough up so that most people can't touch it. The sacred standing rock. Sacred to the Lakota, Dakota people. said to be woman or woman with child. Sure, I see it. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I see the eye and the nose and the mouth. The story of the stone is that it was a woman or a woman and a child turned to stone and Native American uh, cultures revered the stone and they carried it generation upon generation they carried it around with them and it was a lot of deliberation that it took to finally set it in one place and they put it here uh, in 1886 they decided to make a monument out of it I want to set it free <laughs> I'm like, the stone is a nomad, I'm a nomad, must take stone. That's why they put it on a monument, so people like me wouldn't take it. I don't want to take it for selfish reasons, I want to set it free. Before they decided to uh, put it here on and make a monument out of it, there and make a dedication, Sitting Bull was part of one of the councils that made the decision about leaving it here, and that was in uh, the 1880s. So the council selected a spiritual leader named Fire Cloud to lead the dedication ceremony, and he was known as a hostile by the invaders because he refused to return to the reservation in 1876, and he was originally a member of the Blackfoot Band. During the ceremony, he thanked the Great Spirit and the Rock on behalf of his entire nation for the cessation of warfare. So that's what he wanted. During the dedication ceremony, the spiritual leader wanted a cessation of warfare. Unfortunately, he didn't get his wish. So just like I saw at um, Bear's Lair, also known as Devil's Tower, the prayer cloths that people left around, they left them to in remembrance to honor as a, a sacred prayer leave behind uh, they used to do that with this rock so people would go to the rock and when people touched the rock and got healed which often was the case they would come back and they would leave tobacco people would leave blankets and cloths and food around standing rock because uh, what was it called again wakan wakan holy or sacred it was thought to be wakan w-a-k-a-n holy or sacred and so people would leave there was cloth, food to eat. If a wasalo was sick, he prayed to get well. If he got well, he tied some tobacco in a bag and hung it there on a stick. So a um, lot, of, lot of spiritual meaning to Standing Rock, which is now here on a rock.
And there's no, kind of surprise that there's no like prayer cloths or anything around. It's kind of been a weird place for that though, I guess, right across from the administration building. The controversial construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline gained international attention when the United States Army Corps of Engineers accepted an application by the Energy Transfer Partners, a Texas-based developer, to build an 1,100-mile underground oil pipeline all the way from North Dakota to Illinois. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe declared that it violated Article 2 of the Fort Laramie Treaty, which guaranteed undisturbed use and occupation of reservation lands. Here's the kicker. So, you know, huge protests started, fight the, type, the pipeline. But here's the kicker that I didn't know about. The New Yorker reported that the original plan was to have it cross the Missouri River near Bismarck. But they rejected that because they were afraid there would be a leak into the Missouri River, and it would spoil the drinking water for Bismarck. So they decided to move it to go through the Standing Rock Reservation, where the Standing Rock are saying, well, it could create a spill and ruin our drinking water. But apparently that was okay with the Army Corps of Engineers. After many court battles and protests, in July 2020, a district court judge issued a ruling for the pipeline to be shut down and emptied pending a new environmental review. The bottom line is the court decided that they hadn't done a thorough enough analysis of the impact it would have on the environment. Temporary win for the Dakota, Lakota people who live here. Sitting Bull was born around 1831 to a Lakota Sioux tribe. He was originally called Jumping Badger by his family, but earned a boyhood nickname Slow for his quiet and deliberate m demeanor. He killed his first buffalo when he was just 10 years old, and at 14 he joined a Hunkpapa raiding party and distinguished himself by knocking a crow warrior from his horse with a tomahawk. In celebration of the boy's bravery, his father relinquished his own name and transferred it to his son. From then on, Slow became known as Tatanka Iotanka, or Sitting Bull. Oh, wow. By the 1860s, he became one of the fiercest opponents of white encroachment on their land. And he was the first man to become the chief of the entire Lakota Sioux Nation. Here's something I bet you didn't know about Sitting Bull. When Sitting Bull met Annie Oakley, he was so impressed by her marksmanship that not only did they become friends, but he considered her his adopted daughter. Standing Rock is speaking to me. Take me with you. I want to go. I'm meant to be a nomadic rock. enjoyed this video be sure to check over here I'm gonna put some videos here that I think you also might be interested in so you can keep watching and make sure you subscribe below check your notifications so you never miss a moment of fun and adventure thank you all so much for hanging out with me until next time be happy be free and be kind see you soon